I created a viral rapper to prove it's not luck. Today I'm turning this stranger. How do you even do that, bro? Okay. I created a viral rapper to prove it's not luck. What? Today I'm turning this stranger I just found on the street into a viral rapper in just one month. And here's how I'm gonna do it. Find a stranger who can rap, record a hit song, film an entire music video, and promote the song all over social media. It seems to be a common belief that going viral is based on luck. But I believe with the right skills, anyone can do it. And I'm gonna attempt to prove this by getting a hundred thousand- Hey Chad, is going viral luck based? Is going viral luck base? I know, um, I know we've had that discussion on YouTube on how much luck plays a part in it. I think luck plays a part in it. Not as much as some people think, though, but thousand streams by the end of the month and what better place to start than Venice Beach? This place is full of characters, so Chad, have y'all been to Venice Beach? Have y'all been to Venice Beach? I went to Venice Beach when I was in LA. I did not like it. I d I I didn't I didn't like Venice Beach. Now, um what was that? Santa Monica? I fuck with Santa Monica. But Venice, they just look too crazy. I don't know. It should be no trouble finding us a rapper. And if you're wondering how we're gonna make this song, I have a studio booked just eight hours from now. Luckily, my good friend Justin here knows how to make music. I'm gonna make this song viral. Let's do it. Now it comes down to asking complete strangers. Do you happen to make music by any chance? No. 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 I, don't know. I do uh, dabble with my metal band and stuff. Oh, hear me freestyle. Dabble with your metal band. <laughs> Run up on my block, you finna be dead. The girl, I stole her in these fake pit vipers. Woo! Stop playing, talk shit, shit me out, go Super Saiyan. <laughs> okay, all right, let me grab your number. Okay, it was nice to meet you, man. Honest thoughts. He did his best. <laughs> Even though that guy reminded me of my two favorite things, my uncle and Young Gravy, I had young to keep gravy. looking. I continued asking person after person, but couldn't find anybody. Two hours down, six more to go. I'm slightly worried because if we can't find a rapper, I have no plan, we're screwed. And with that in mind, we continued to search. Time was passing quickly and it didn't seem like luck was on our side. Do you make music by any chance? No. No? Oh. No, bro. Sorry, I don't know. No problem. <sighs> oh, yeah, I do. You make music? Yeah, yeah, but we can talk right now. Honestly, I'm so sorry. Okay, no problem. Uh, nope. Womp, womp. Okay, thank you, man. At this point, it was all up to fate, and all I could do was hope I'd strike gold. Excuse me? Christ. Do you make music by any chance? No, I don't. Dang it, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Love how he's just pulling up to people. He looks like a rapper. Do you make music? <laughs> Yo, what's up? What we doing, bro? I got a question. Energy right now. You make music. What's what's up? Up? Bro, do I make music? Of course. Really? I'm a rapper, my dog. They call me psychedelic. You know what I'm saying? Do you have any like music okay. on Spotify or whatever? Yeah. I actually don't even have anything on there yet. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Can I tell you what we're doing today? What are you doing? We want to find a rapper, make a viral hit song, film a music video, promote it for an entire month, and make you viral. Let's run it. Are Let's you down? Let's get it, bro. I'm super down. <laughs> I'm <telling> you. Yeah. <laughs> right, that, that hey, free production team. I ain't gonna lie. I'll, I'll, if I'm an aspiring artist. And a production team just came up to me and said, yeah, do you want to do this for free? I'm taking that shit. Awesome. We're going to go crazy. Bro. I'm actually blown away, bro. Our studio session is until 9. I'll see you guys at 8? Yeah, yeah, at 8 o'clock. Let's go platinum. I love it. See you, Psychedelic. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that was like the most like, I don't even know. That People are going to think that's fake, yeah. bro. All right, 8 p.m., which means we have some time to kill. And while we waited, it didn't take long for me to start questioning if- Chat, is it fake? Is it fake? I I don't I don't think this video is- I don't think this video is scripted. I don't know. There's just something about this, this video that- I don't know. Maybe I'm gullible, but insane script, yes. I'm being optimistic with this one. If this was too good to be true, I really like that guy, but I have this really strong worry that he might not show up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. What do you mean by that? This is crazy. Oh, I'm really worried. The fact that these videos never go this well had me feeling uneasy. I mean, would he even show up and could he even rap? I had no idea, but I had put my faith in a complete stranger and now our fate was up to him. What do you mean by that? All right, guys, 
Oh my gosh. We just arrived to our rapper's house. I don't know if he's gonna show up. He's supposed to be here any second now. At his house? He better be at his house. Oh, Come on, bro. Oh, that's him. That's him. What's up, bro? Psychedelic! You yeah. pulled through. Let's bro, go. Bro, already knows what we do. If I see something, I gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? This is our ride right here. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah. Let's go, baby. I got some questions for you, bro. Since I don't know you too well. Yeah. First of all, what got you into music? Bro, so like, I remember like my grandma like showing me like Michael Jackson, just a lot of people, and just instantly something came to me where I was just like, bro, I want to do this. <laughs> How long have you been doing it now? Bro, I want to say like maybe like 10 years. What about a uh, favorite fast food? 10 years? You've been doing music for 10 years and you didn't release anything on any platform? What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, this is what we gotta do, bro. Yeah. So sometimes I like to go to 7-Eleven, bro. Okay. And I literally get four Tosquitos and I get uh, four share size M&Ms. And then Let's I get go. a pink lemonade. And that's like how I, I live. Is, is this like a normal meal? Oh yeah, bro. That's why I'm always like... You're on it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, yeah. bro. What's your biggest dream? My biggest dream in the whole entire world, honestly, since I was a kid, bro, was just to like fully blow up in music my way. Especially like, cause I come from like a real small town, just to show that me it doesn't matter where you come from or anything. Damn. So I just really want to show everyone that anything you see is possible. You know what I'm saying? Dude. We found the right guy, bro. Hey. Hey. So I'm excited, bro. bro I'm this so is gonna be awesome. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be like a movie right now. And after the most epic car ride of my entire life, we arrived to the studio. Here we are. I don't, I don't think this is scripted, y'all. I don't know, I don't know. This place is crazy. Oh. Like, is, like sometimes coincidences just be coincidating. I don't know. Whoa. This is crazy. It feels like we're in a portal. All right, so let's separate and look for clues. <laughs> <laughs> Before we could record a perfect song, we needed a perfect beat. All right, beat number one. And at this point, we didn't even really know if this guy could rap, but pretty soon, I think we got our answer. What if he was ass? <laughs> it looked like he's off the Zans, same blues clues, bro. His laugh is nasty. Yeah, his laugh is crazy. <laughs> Hello? Now you see me round and I'm falling. Everybody want to get down because it's falling. Why but thought you see me Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm falling. Everybody made a right here. It's not falling. That's the one. Thank oh no. They are lying to this man's face if this shit is real. <laughs> Yo, Chad. No. no. Yeah, is that the go, one? Go get in the studio, right, bro. I'm kind of like overwhelmed with greatness. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to put on this beat and he's going to just freestyle. And this man did exactly that. <laughs> Truly one of the what what music do these two fucks listen to most unbelievable things i've ever seen and i attended the travis scott Fortnite concert back in 2020 but oh fuck This guy is so talented and watching him make this song was amazing. I learned that his name is actually Clayton and he's genuinely one of the kindest people I've ever met and his energy was just contagious. How you feeling? Bro, I feel fantastic right now. Bro. Yeah? I'm like, ah! This whole experience was just so much fun and by the end of it, we came out with a song we were all very proud of. You look like a Clayton. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop lying to this man, bro. Feeling like a Michael Jordan. I'm falling. Come. You really think this is going to be the hit? 
Come on, bro. At least do what the, the, the two girls that um that were running on TikTok. Like at least that shit had like a something that popped out about it. This is the most generic fucking rap song I've heard, bro. What the fuck? Put this shit on Disney Plus or some shit, dog. for having me i appreciate you so much bro. of like, course every single one of you guys is a legend and it's like so dope to like be here with you guys we left the studio feeling confident that we had a song with major viral potential after saying goodbye to our new friend clayton i spent the next week creating cover art and posting the song on every platform possible once that was out of the way we drove to la again to meet back up with clayton to begin act three okay. ready to make history yeah i'm excited Woo! Bro, I'm I got so many ideas. I'm super excited. All right, this dude just lives in fucking Venice Beach. <laughs> Before we shoot He's the music always video, there. we're gonna make a ton of TikToks. I was thinking the best way to promote this song would be through TikTok, cause that's how all the songs are blowing up. I'm thinking we film like 20 TikToks and that should be a lot to work with 20? for the promotional part. Dude, that'll be crazy. And so we tapped into our inner Bryce Hall and started TikToking. I want your honest opinion on this track, bro. If it's whack, you actually don't like it, bro, we'll give you $20. I had a bunch of pre-planned ideas that are based off of some other artist videos that blew up to give us the best chance of viral. Using okay, I mean, that's that's a good plan. That's a good plan. In the power of strangers and acting, we were able to easily knock out 20 plus TikToks in just a few hours. We just made it to Clayton's house. This place is so cool, dude. <laughs> that was arguably the most important part. We're shooting the music video because every viral song has a viral music video to go along with it. For the first shot, I'm gonna have Clayton reenact waking up. Does it? A little lower. Yeah, yeah, in that light. Three, two, one, action. That's fire, bro. That looks fire. sick. Yeah, you just slip them on and then walk off screen. I know you see me over here on this beautiful side. I think this could cut right to you outside throwing the board down. <laughs> bro, think he cold Bennett, bro. Stop. <laughs> Stop. This is the one thing I've wow. For a long time. That looks so oh, cool. Yeah, this video has a perfect vibe to it. Again. Yes. It fits the song, too. Yeah. We continued filming by going to the skate park, and that's when we learned Clayton had more than one talent. For this next shot, Clayton's gonna fly out of the bowl and land on his skateboard. Let's see how this goes. Dude, I'm so hyped on that. My goal with this video was to encapsulate who Clayton is as a person, so we made sure to add in all of the things he liked. It's, oh my god. We filmed until we had everything we needed for the music video, and then it was time to say goodbye to Clayton. What are the bro, results, bro? Thank you so much. Because I'm telling you right now, if I see this shit on my For You page, I'm skipping. It's a pleasure, bro. Literally an honor, bro. I'm stoked to see the end product. It's gonna be extra. Just crazy, bro. <laughs> this is the most fun I've ever had filming a video in my, in my whole life. Dog, that's crazy. Perfect. Bring bro. it in. So Thank you so much. You, Love you too. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bro. I'm gonna go watch some Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm exhausted. We have a long drive home, so let's get out of here. All right, it's been a week. All right, here we go. I finished the music video and a couple of the TikToks. Today is a very important day because today is the first day of our marketing campaign. Now, all the famous artists we know and love have millions of dollars and massive teams to make sure their music goes viral. And others start a cult brainwashing millions of red lipstick wearing teenage girls. I'm talking about you, Taylor. <laughs> But I truly believe you don't need anything but an iPhone to achieve true virality. So for the next two weeks, I'll be editing and posting two TikToks per day that I think have huge potential to blow up. Because at the end of the day... Two TikToks per day? That's not a bad idea. It's skill, not luck. And so I carefully selected two of our TikToks, posted them, and now 24 hours later, let's see our first day's results. Boys, girls, hopefully not Swifties. It's been a while. We're gonna check the videos. I posted them on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. So we'll be checking all three. I have no predictions, because I literally don't know what to expect. Let's start with Instagram. One of them got 130 views. Let's check our TikTok. Oh, both of them got just over 500 views. This is really good, dude. Let's check. Come on. 
Okay. YouTube. Yo! Two and a half thousand views. That's actually really good. We got a comment. That sounds real good, bro. It sounds like it could be a hit on the radio. Keep up the good work, stay strong, and keep the faith. Awesome, okay. I'm gonna go make some more TikToks and I'll check back with you guys when something changes. Over the next couple days, I continue to edit and post videos. I tried to make the videos as high quality as possible to give them the best chance Wait, hold on, Jack. getting views. And after 30 posts total, none of our videos- Oh, nah, he did that method? Yo, I ain't gonna lie, this is one of the most dirt bag methods I've seen on TikTok. The best chance of getting views. And Watch after this. 30 posts- The fake Kai Sinat reaction? is some of the nastiest methods I've ever seen, bro. Bro, this is disgusting work. Total, none of our videos have gone viral. The most views we've seen on one video is only 3,000 views, which is nowhere where it needs to be if we actually want to get 100,000 streams on this song, which is mildly concerning. <laughs> and this is proving to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. But I still believe that it's skill and not luck. So for the next week, I'm gonna make better videos and better content, and hopefully one of these things blows up. And so I got right to work. Making video after video, trying to come up with viral concepts wasn't easy, but I continued with hope. With the music video posted and six videos going up a day, I was able to post over a hundred videos total. With the challenge oh, coming to an end, I posted my final two videos. And now the only thing to do is to share the results with the person that made this whole thing possible. It's he flopped, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Easy. He fucking flopped, bro. First of all, first of all, even even the motherfuckers that go viral, they do not start from scratch and go viral within a month's time span. If they do go viral, it's on some. They've been working hard. They've been building up a catalog, and then boom, that that moment happens for them. Taking taking the artist from scratch and trying to blow them up in a month, that's not gonna work. Even if it is just 100 TikToks, it's gonna take more than that. Number two, building on what I just said, bro, it, it takes time, bro. This 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 is not gonna work. It's time to call Clayton. I'm going to tell him our results and share with him how the whole experiment went. This whole video has been so much fun to make and it was a great- Jay said this video is actually the real promo. Mmm. Great experience, which reminds me, we're trying to hit a million subscribers before the end of the Low year. Key. Subscribe. Uh, I'm putting key. out content as frequently as I possibly can. It's a crazy goal, but you guys have shown me literally anything is possible. I, I can't thank you guys enough. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting. Let's call Clayton. Yo! Yo! What's going on? Oh, the juice things are Yes! Okay. <laughs> I have the update, okay? What uh, app is this? Yep. Um. Basic. Oh, nah. No way he actually got his hopes up. Basically, the song has just over 300 streams. Look at his face. Look at his face. Oh my goodness. <sighs> it's Jover, bro. You promised me a boogie numbers. <laughs> I'm supposed to be male ice spice. It happens when it's supposed to happen. It happened for a reason like this, and I wouldn't have wanted it with anyone else, bro. Like, you guys are really cool, bro. Thank you. Later, man. Bye-bye. Okay, well, at least he didn't get his fucking hopes up to the point where he's gonna get mad at them for not making him actually viral. And so technically, we failed. And even though we didn't achieve 100,000 streams, I don't think it was for nothing. I set out to prove that blowing up isn't luck, but in fact skill. But what I failed to realize is it's more than just skill. It's consistent dedication for years without giving up. And I think Clayton really said he it. Just He's not gonna it. get it the first time. That's what makes it so much more worth it later in life when it does happen because you've been working on it consistently. Never be afraid of something that you love to do. And if you love your work that much, you just got to truly believe in that and go through the failure, go through everything, even the success. And just know this is what you're doing. You're doing this to live and flow. So just hit it. <laughs> hey, listen. I just think. I just even I, I just think even the concept of proving it's not luck, I don't even think that's that's necessary, bro. Like if if you get lucky, that's fine. If you get lucky, that's fine. 
Every every single person has had luck involved in their life to some degree. You know what I'm saying? And to take that away, to take anyone away from what whatever they got just because they got lucky, I think is the craziest thing in the world. And it doesn't have to be some major shit. Like literally look look into your life and luck has probably played a big part in that somehow, some way. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Brody for the video, man.